Hey, Abington. Um, I'm here to help you with uh, recording your back to school night videos. You can just use Zoom. Uh, you don't have to use Screencastify or anything crazy like that. Just go into Zoom, start a meeting, uh, a brand new fresh meeting uh, with nobody in it, and then you can go ahead and record. It's in between the share screen and closed caption buttons at the bottom you know, when that little menu pops up. The little record is a little circle. Click on that and you can restart recording like I'm doing here. Uh, you can go ahead and just share a screen and make sure when you do share a screen, if you have sound effects, make sure you click on uh, share computer sound. Otherwise, um, you know, they're not gonna hear your cool sound effects. So you, know, you don't see this window, you just see me right now. Anyway, when I click on share, we get this. Now, this is not gonna be as big. It's actually gonna be something like this. And I just use the mouse to drag it. And usually I think by default, it goes up into this corner here. Uh, to, in order to make it bigger, just grab a corner <clears throat> and make it bigger. I had already set it up to be bigger and over on the left-hand side of the screen um, before I started recording this so that when I went to share screen, my screen, my face would be uh, bigger um, and I wouldn't have to fiddle with that during my presentation. Um, but I did anyway, because I wanted to show you. From here, you do your thing, and then uh, you'd wanna go ahead and I'd say stop share, have your closing remarks, and then go ahead and hit stop at the bottom. Um, once you hit stop, it's gonna have a little window that says, you know, once you finish Zoom, it's gonna save your video. Um, and so once you end the meeting, it, uh, the computer takes a little bit of time and it saves the video to a spot in your hard drive. And then that window uh, will appear with actual the file that's saved and you can use that and, you know, and manipulate that all you want. Um, Meet is the, you know, basically the same thing, except instead of saving on your hard drive, it saves on your Google Drive. And so if you're using a Chromebook, you might want to run this option instead. Um, once it's done finishing, like um, publishing the video to your Google Drive, Google will send you an email with, uh, with, with a message saying that your video has been completed. Um, go to here to check out your video. Um, and after you get uh, all this recorded and you have it uh, saved somewhere, uh, Laura Inama's video on the website, or on Classroom that is, is, um, is good and it'll teach us how to post it appropriately in the right spot um, for back to school night. So anyway, hopefully this is helpful. Just a, a quick and rough video as to how to record yourself. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and um, yeah, good luck.